Hello, hello, hello. This is Passport to Hot Beauty and I just want to welcome you and thank you for stopping by my channel today. So, the buzz is this. This weekend, Wet n Wild Beauty just dropped a collaboration with Bretman Rock. And that collaboration was like a full collection of this beautiful, like, tropical fantasy island looking makeup and we are loving it and it's affordable beauty like what come on now and Brett really did his job like he really really like chose beautiful island like hues and metallics and the mats are pretty I just think it's a well well thought out collection overall so Applause, applause, applause. So what they did was they, um, they meaning Wet n Wild, they actually put the alert on their stories and said, hey, you can go and buy it at Ulta stores now. You can actually go to Ulta stores. What? That's what happened with me. Also, you can purchase it on their website. So they did it like that too. So I was like, Okay, I watched all the traffic and everything, and I watched that baby, like, it went, like, really quickly. So, hats off to them. So, I think I'm going to do the swatches here for you guys, because you'd like to see the swatches, right? I think so. And I think Wet n Wild posted me, um, they actually posted my, the Lippy collection, if you can see here. They posted it on their website um, for the day. Well, actually on their stories for the day. It was mine. See? So, later on, I will do this for you. And I'll try to do this as fast as possible. I'm not, you know, an experienced YouTuber. But guess what? Everybody has to try. And I think that when it's beauty that's worth doing it, you should actually put it out there. Like, do it. So, in Brett's in Wet n Wild's collection, or I should say, other way around, Wet n Wild, featuring Brett, Brett, Brett Rock, there is a palette. Here it is. The first one I got was, unfortunately, it was cracked. So there's the palette. There's a three-in-one spray. If you shake it, it's very pretty. It smells like coconut tropical, and it's like um, a dewy mist. For your skin a primer setting and refresher all together in all one and like it's so good it does leave the dew it's not sticky and it has um like a good coconut smell to it i appreciate it i like it a lot then there's a duo highlighter and i opened it up so that you guys could see actually what it looks like on the inside so it has his BR, his initials, featuring it's wet and wild, and then there's the two hues, and it's just mega tropical. So it's like this really opalesque, but high shined gold, and then like a rose gold with like um, a gradient of like some particles um, that are like um, nice high shimmered. Really, really good. Um, in fact, let me just show you. I'm actually wearing both now. If you can see the shine on my skin. The glow is actually coming from the two combined. So, and I love it. I love like how it closes. It closes like such. Love that. So it's a good job. And then there's like these little, you know, prongs in there that you can just open and close it like doors. Oh, okay. And then there's a three piece brush. So he, he has two eye brushes and a highlighter brush. Love that. So if you can see that real cool and just to show you like the gradient of the brush like this highlighter brush is so cute so it really did a good job like transferring I love you know this texture of it so I'm gonna tell you it's real cool I like to do that too because that lets me know like you know how a brush is and then there's two different types of brushes here for the eye have a flat brush for like you know um, concealer and creation you can use that and then there's a good cute little blending brush so you can take it down here and you can do that or you can just go under your eye like that and get things done or you can use this one and you could just take that and kind of like blend out your 
beautiful little palette that he has. So, and then these beautiful lippies that I just showed you guys. All of them are so pretty. It's like nice, you know, beautiful tropical colors. Great job. Let's get into the packaging. The packaging is really pretty. You can see, like, I think they really did a good job. And they even did nicely by actually providing the eyeshadow on the back. So you can see that. And they followed on with the packaging by, you know, taking all of the looks like super tropical looks to the back and then to the front. And then here is the beautiful palette. Not broken. As you can see, all together, like about, oh man. Well, you can see. I feel like counting right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So I was going to swatch these with you guys. So um, if you have a moment, indulge. So let's talk here about these swatches. So we got some, a couple of metallics, about three, you know, actually we got about, about four metallics. I'm sorry. We got about five metallics and a little bit of a semi shimmer from the black here, which is alpha. And that alpha actually has, um, some like gold glitter in it. So that's not always common. Normally like blacks would have like silver dashes and stuff like that of um, speckles of shimmer. Um, this here, which is called King of the Jungle, reminds me of like um, some of the gold, like like it's very kilowatt like. So if you guys wanna know what that gold is like, but there, there is like a, a greenish undertone base, which is really cute. I love it. Like it's, when I say green, I mean like, olive green so it's so subtle you can't see it but it's very very pungent i love this very pungent and then there's another one called prowl prowl is like um it's like a bronze gold but it's it's like um starly merrily by mac it has that effect with the pinks underneath it dope 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 okay so um and then this green which is it's called Big Peacock Energy. You know Brent, like he goes off, really. And um, this green is so emerald. It's so pretty. So let's get to swatching. Okay. So let's try. Um, so now, like, let me just go back to this. Like when I swatch, I normally swatch like on my inner arm. So I hope that's okay with you guys. So here is... Um, coconut connoisseur so this is the quality of the pigment and i'll do the lifting here so of my arm so that's coconut connoisseur it's good with one swipe oops sorry about that so that's how that one looks then we'll do prowl let's see if you can see that Okay, so that's what Prowl looks like. Okay, and then there is Liar and Cheetah. That's what that looks like. you can see it and don't be lying <laughs> so cute okay I like this this might be one of my favorite ones it's a nude but there's such a I don't know it's got like a roses pink oh you just have to get it get it and see yourself like it's got like a roses type of pinkish underlay to it but anyway let me continue I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again because um so that you can see it that much better so let's see okay so that's four so far and then 
running out of fingers. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay. That's what we do. So there's that gold, which is king of the jungle. Look at that. Oh, man. It's so pretty. That should give you the color. Okay. And that's how that one looks. There. I'm trying to, like, you got to figure out, like, where in this light can I show you guys, like, the true hue. Okay. So, so far we got four. All right, let's continue on to the second row. Now we are on... <laughs> it's so funny, I can laugh. Anaconda. Hilarious. Okay. So, this one is nice and minty green. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. It's a matte. And I'm going to actually put it up here. I'm going to swipe again because it needs to, to kind of show you a little bit more. So that's that one. Now we have Venomous. Check out that. That's this one. Super, super pigmented. Nice and rich. Okay. Look at that. I like it. You got St. Patty's Day coming up too. You can do your thing. So then we have here I'm so sorry guys. Uh, we have Flaming Ho. I like that too. A nice subtle pigment. Then we have pounce on them. Look at that. That right there is like an orange to <laughs> die for. Okay, let's see how that swatches. Oh, that's so pretty. This one gets a double swatch to me. I'm <laughs> going in. There it is. Well, so far, we got this, 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 and this. I'm going to do better swatches later because, you know, doing it like this is kind of hard. And, again, I'm trying this. <laughs> okay, let's see. I know some people put it on their on hands. I really appreciate this. This is Ape Shit. This dark brown right here. Um, I love making a nude for myself, but like when you want to go in deep and subtle, like um, but yet not super deep, like a color brown like this is so good. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. It's super chocolatey. I love it. So here's how that, now again, I'm a warm hued person, so this is how it swatches on my hue. So for me, it looks like this. This is chocolatey. So let's go into the last row. I'm like looking and I'm like, what is falling? 
Okay. Okay. Actually, how about I do the last row here? And I apologize. I just, again, I know we have these, but I want to bring it in a little closer. Well, here's the last row. It's a pretty blue, and this one is called Deeper. Okay, let's do that emerald green that we had right here. Ooh, <laughs> look at this. I needed this. I needed this green like maybe like a month ago. Um, I think it was around my birthday time. I was trying to wear like black and, and emerald. I didn't get around to doing it the way I wanted to do it, but maybe next year. And this, I need a green like this. You see that? So anyway, let's get to it. That's pretty. Okay. And then there is feline myself. <laughs> so nice purple. Real good purple too. Okay. Got to clean, do some cleaning up on my hands. On my fingers actually. Just to make sure that I can get the colors out. All right. So, feline myself. Here we go. And that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. All right. Now that's one swatch. There's two. All right. And there is two can play at that game. So that's red. This is actually the one that was broken when I got the first one. So I'm on to my second one and this one is a lot better. So, and I wanna report that I didn't like even on swatching, I hadn't um, felt any like fallout and everything to be determined when I actually do the application. But for now, no fallout. So here's that red. Ooh. Okay. And here we go for swatch. I'm trying to get some here. I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> All right, and then here's that alpha color that had that was the black that had like the gold specks in it. Right there, okay. And you can actually see the gold specks. So that's pretty. That gives off a nice little islandy look. Oh, sorry. Okay, gotta do it again. Oops. I think my workout bag is about to fall. There. So you can see all the gold specks in that. That's so pretty. So. This actually concludes the swatches. So we got the ones on my arm and then we got the ones on my wrist. Arm. And again, they could probably be a little bit deeper. Um, I could try to do some, let's see.
take these off. We'll just do a few of the ones that I did earlier on because I just want to make sure that I give you guys like a better view of like what the beginning um, row, that first row looks like. So here again is the first one, which is that bare nude hue. I'm gonna do it fast. That's that. Then there's that gold that we picked. And then there's that reddish hue, which is Liar and Cheetah. Then there's that Don't Be Lion which is that one that was like this nude, but like gold shimmer. Now you can see it better because I was trying to show it to you before, but it's, it's like um, a very fine, soft gold. It's gonna be really good. And then there's this like gold, like a kilowatt hue. Now I think you can see that better. So there. So that's that first row. Hope you got it. All clean. Okay. So Hopefully, I did justice by showing you guys what the the jungle book, excuse me, the jungle rock. I knew I was gonna say jungle book because of the movie. It's hard. Jungle rock, jungle rock. Okay. So I love this. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this away. And get into brushes and just give you a little like demonstration of what the highlighter looks like very quickly so the best thing to do for the highlighters is to you know remove the plastics that you see fold them down or something and I'm gonna teach you like the best way to get to the you know to get some of the pigment out so I hold mine like this and then like you know one side is closed per selection like this and then I just tap out and you tap the sides and then you'll see like some of it will come at the bottom here. So right now I'm going to use his highlighter brush and I'm going to tap. This is what it looks like. And it's really pretty. Um, when I use a highlighter brush or any type of brush for application, I always tap the product into the brush so that I don't lose it so I just do a little so that it sinks in the actual brush and goes down in the middle I was taught that by some lovely mentors and then I also do this because I don't want excess so this is the actual highlighter and I'm doing that right on my bone you guys it's above the cheekbone and then up and around and I move really like in a nice I'm trying to not have it be more like the light but more like what you guys could see But actually, it's really the highlighter showing up on this. Like it's, I like the application of the brush, like how well it just sets on the skin. So let's try the other one on the other side. See it? Tap, tap, tap. 
Look at that. And here, like, both sides of my face are different. One side is my bone is, like, more structured upward, and this one is, like, a little bit more fat flesh. That's how I'm constructed. <laughs> so up here, I'm going to work it up. So pretty. You see that? It definitely does not feel like a wet and wild brush. It feels like it's a much better, like they used a better company. Um, and honestly, they've gotten a lot better with selecting how to make their brushes and, and formatting them. Um, I think this is really good. It's cute and I'm glad to have it in my arsenal of brushes. So that's one side. Now I'm going to close this side and actually actually put the plastic back on to preserve it and keep the product. Now I'm going to tap into the other side, the R, to rock out with him. So this, this side, the gradient of the, the um, rose goldish pink side, it's a little bit thicker. Don't expect for it to be as fine as the... Um, opalous gold color because um, that one is really meant to strobe. This one is meant to kind of, I would say, decorate. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. It is, um, the gradient is a little bit thicker, but not too thick. And you still get a nice hue from it. So I love that. So I'm going to tap, tap. See that? Just hold it up, tap, tap, and let it drop to the bottom. And you'll preserve that a lot more. I'm going to tap out the excess of the other highlighter and get busy with this one. So this is the gradient of the pink. So as you can see, it's a little thicker. I'm going to tap it so that it doesn't, you know, so it taps more into the brush. I'm going to add in little strokes here. Add it to my skin. I'm going to go in again. And uh, depending on how you want to make it. So I'm hoping you can see it a little bit. Let's try this side. You can see a little bit of the pink in the pictures. I'll take like a picture of it so that you can actually see it better. Let's see. I'm trying to give you a good idea like how to see without all the light. There. Okay. So hopefully you can see my strobe in this pink. Okay. So that's what that looked like. And this fell in my hair. Okay, so now. I can only tell you that the brush is itself really good. Not too dense, not too thick. In terms of settling on your skin, very nice. And this here, very nicely done, you can see. All right. So now we'll get into this beautiful three in one. It settled down again, so we want to shake it up. And the mist, the way it mists out, let's see if I can just demonstrate it. You see the mist, it, even if you just, it's like, can I do this? Okay, so I'm gonna seal the deal. 
I'm telling you, you're going to want to spray it like three or four times just to, this is like definitely a throw in your beach bag, like really throw it in your beach bag or somebody's stressing you out, hold up. I need to deal with something first before I deal with you. <laughs> it's like that. It's dope. Okay. So get it. It's good. It does a nice dewy finish, as you can see. I love it. And let's see. So I want to try this color because I haven't tried it yet. And this one is Fearless. Honestly, these things are made so small now. I have, I have allergies, so you have to forgive me. Fearless. And then there's another one. I don't know. I can't see anymore, guys. It's the pink one. <laughs> okay. I should have looked them up. I'm sorry. But for now, I'm going to do this color. So this alone, it's a, uh, it's not like really super like dark, but it does have like an, an orange glaze finish over it. It's a little, a little neutral, but with a hint of like that orange hue. So I like that too. Last two, then there's the pink. Let me do the pink. You can definitely see this. Okay. And that has like little like shimmers to it. Okay. This one off. Last but not least. There's this here, and that's the light gold. Okay. This says ferocity. One more second, and then I'll be done. Okay, so here it is. This is Ferocity. <laughs> I think the other names were on the top of here, but I just didn't see them. Um, oh, so the pink was Freaky, and then the salmon color was, hold on, Fearless. So Fearless, Freaky, and then ferocity and ferocity is this gold so it really shows up you can overlay it as a topper or you can just do it by itself but this is definitely like when you get sun kissed and everything this is going to be the one so the whole collection is great try them out i suggest you run and get them as soon as possible but I believe on February 18th they're going to be available on wet and wild site so you can cop them there and um, you can continue to try to find them on um, Ulta's site and just get what you could all together 
I think it was worth, you know, the collection. Like, I use my Ulta points all the time when I get stuff. I think, you know, it was good to get. And honestly, a steal. <laughs> a real steal. And that's the only reason why I got it. It was a really good steal. So, I want to thank you guys for dealing with me and my newbie style of swatching. And I just want to thank you for stopping by my page and... I hope that you come back and visit and I really appreciate your time. Really, I really do because time is everything. Just have a good weekend. Have a happy President's Day. And for anybody who's stopping by to visit, please feel free to click the subscribe button because I do appreciate people who want to take the time out to get educated about products and that really pay attention to how much they pay and you know make sure that they don't waste money and make sure that they get the good quality products that are out there for us and I just want to say thank you have a good week